Capricorn. How you doing, Capricorn? This is a reading for you for the month of May. Monthly reading for May. Um, I'm going to take three, three, and three. Three Akashic Tarot cards, three Angel Wisdom Tarot cards, three Psychic Tarot cards. These readings are a bit longer than usual, so... Ooh, Archangel Raphael, straight out the gate. Ah, oh, that one. Ooh, now two came in one cut there. You've got on track. And you've got wishes fulfilled. On track and wishes fulfilled. Now, I am actually going to take a fourth... Oh, you got spring and autumn. Virgo just had summer, winter. Because two came out at once. So, there we go. Now some angel wisdom tarot. First card, oh, the dreamer. The dreamer, the full card. Next card is the queen of pentacles. The king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands come out quite a lot from this deck. And the knight of cups. Oh, and at the bottom of the deck, just wanted you, you to know that there's the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands there. Communication, things, something coming in quickly. Something good coming in quickly. And now three Psychic Tarot. Okay, your first card is Fertility. Fertility. Movement, choices, decisions. Ooh. Foundation and achievements. Nice. Okay, so Archangel Raphael, I think, is the healing angel. Obviously, all angels have healing power and that kind of thing. Um, yes, healing and uplifting light. Um... Archangel Gabriel is the angel of communication. Archangel Raphael. The Archangel Raphael walks down a path and approaches you, sharing his healing and uplifting light. He is, pro he is a profoundly loving spirit who has an important role to bring the Akashic power to you. This beautiful being carries the energies of love, family, miracles, healing and blessed journeys. He can share all these intentions and experiences with you. And more. All of the archangels, of all, excuse me, of all that I just like, I've been drinking so much water because I've still got a cold. Of all the archangels, Raphael most often comes in from, is in the guise of a human. That's an important message. This card can indicate that helpful others may be attending you now. It also pertains to a great time of achievement in your personal life. And Raphael is opening the door. Opening the door. Blessings abound with this card upright. There may be a renewal of a lost dream. 
a reuniting of family members or healing, perhaps of a physical condition or a broken heart. Even if these conditions have been hanging on for a while, now is the time when you can really break through. Let Raphael be your partner in this process, and you'll soon see why they call him the Miracle Worker. The Akashic Force for this card is to open yourself to the presence and touch of the Archangel Raphael, who stands beside you now. Close your eyes and take a deep breath and feel your whole self filling with the energy of boundless love. Every cell, every thought, every movement vibrates with the radiant power and love of Raphael. Nice healing energy. And I've got a really good energy that just came over me there. Next card, the Ace of Scrolls. On track. Nice picture. A man at a train stands... As all the imagery. All the imagery in this deck is amazing. A man at a train station looks over his shoulder at the signs that point to other tracks. But he has already looked at his maps and made his decision. He lifts his foot onto, to step onto the train. Though travel or move can be indicated by this card, the meaning is often about your choices and directions. You may have been ambivalent about taking a certain track in your life with regard to a project, a relationship, a career direction, or even a location, but now is the time to decide. Even if you're not quite as assured as you'd like to be, the engine is smoking. There is a direction that compels you, so get on board you will not falter. Oh, a special note with this card. Whether this card is upright or reversed, as it is upright, imagine yourself stepping back through the stone archway of the station and onto the adjacent card. Well, that's the Archangel Raphael. This is the waiting room for your train, where you prepare for your journey. The information there can help you get on track. So healing. Healing can help you get on track. The Akashic force within this card is take a deep breath and say, I'm back on track. I'm back on track. Feel the clarity of that declaration and let that energy fill you as the state of readiness moves through you. Sense just one simple action that will realign you with your purpose. And also the other adjacent card is the Five of Keys. Wishes fulfilled. Wishes fulfilled. <clears throat> the scene is a bright and full storeroom. A larder for a sizable and successful estate. Inside are keys and coins, wines and spices. Also within the room are a number of baskets filled with a bounty of fruits, vegetables, breads, flowers, sugars and grains. Even the many windows look out at the expanse of your world. This card is a sign that the time has come for your wishes to be fulfilled and your dreams to be realised. Difficulties may have challenged you for a time, but even in these, victory is assured. There is an abundance of sweet nourishments and acquired lands coming. The keys to the castle are yours, so celebrate. The Akashic Force with this card is Close your eyes and feel someone hand you a set of golden keys. One of them opens the most important door before you. Open the door and see what lies ahead. Nice. Nice. I like that card. Next is the Four of Forces. Spring, Autumn. The spring card, upright as it is, shows a budding tree and flowers beginning to bloom. It is one of the seasonal cycle cards and it indicates that you are entering a time of planting and active preparation. Just as the spring is a very full time for the farmer who is tilling the ground and planting his crop, 
So let yourself put in a little more effort now as you lay the groundwork for the time ahead. This could be a very creative period for you. Take action in creative projects or work-related endeavours that require more time and attention. The work you do, do now could yield great rewards later. Make sure you engage in this extra activity with joy and optimism. You are always planting your energy into the Akashic Records of your life. So as you work towards your goals, remember to plant hope and happiness along with all the action you take. Nice. The Akashic Force for this card is close your eyes and feel yourself stand tall, placing one foot in the spring and the other in the autumn. As you look at your life, ask yourself what step will you take to plant a new situation and what step will help you harvest. See those actions before you now. <coughs> Excuse me, I just need to uh, wet my whistle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to be feeling much better soon. I can tell this cold is going. So now we have the Angel Wisdom Tarot. And we've got what you have first is the card that is first in this deck. Card number zero, the Fool, the Dreamer. Archangel Metatron is known for watching over very sensitive people, especially children. Here he is watching over the dreamer as he steps through the doorway into his next life. Ready, set, go. This is the beginning, or perhaps a new beginning for you. The dreamer is a card of faith. It represents the moment when something new is born. The dreamer is incarnating into a new lifetime. But the card's meaning is symbolic. It might be a new life, where you begin a relationship, launch a different career, or have a spiritual awakening that changes the way you see the world. The energy of this card requires that you believe in yourself, that you believe in the Divine's love for you and its desire that you will find joy. It asks that you let go of anything that might hold you back from your life purpose or following your passion. If you do that, nothing can get in your way. Nothing will stop you from making your dreams come true. The additional meanings of this card are leaps of faith, a new beginning, exciting opportunities, being your unique self, a new adventure. Wow, so you've got on track, that on track message from getting on the train you're ready, after the healing energy of Archangel Raphael, and you are again being asked to leap into something new. Because with the Queen of Pentacles next, it suggests that there is money in this new thing. Queen of Earth. Queen of Pentacles. Of the four pairs of kings and queens among the court cards, the most alike are the Queen and King of Earth. You're pretty much in lockstep with one another in regards to what matters to each of you and how you see the world. Do remember, though, that no queen and king of particular suit are necessarily married to one another. Still, the queen and king of earth seem more like a couple than the others. As the queen, you are caring, warm, stylish, ingenious, and extremely creative. You are an amazing manifester, which is good, since you tend to make a lot of money and then spend every last penny. You have a gift for design. You have a gift for you have a gift for design and decorating. Your love of nature transfers over to the ability to arrange flowers like a pro. In fact, everything about your surroundings is gorgeous. You love beauty, art, the best food, and the most luxurious of surroundings. You can spot quality from a mile away, but that doesn't make you shallow. Your main focus in life is your spouse and children, your home and the environment. You share the Queen of Water's desire to nurture everyone. The difference is that you make sure your needs are met too. You make sure that your needs are met too. 
You care about your appearance, so nice clothing, physical fitness and regular beauty treatments with your physician are a must. Words of awareness with this card are, there's more than one way to do things. You spent how much on those clothes? Why do you care what the neighbours think? Additional meanings of this card are, the ability to make anything more beautiful, being extremely sensible, a green thumb, a love of children and animals, a wonderful parent, sensuality, changing your eating habits or going on a diet. Hmm. Interesting. And now we've got the Knight of Water. It says in quotes, well, hello, beautiful. This is what most people yearn for in romance. It's that feeling of being over the top, romantically, passionately, dreamily, head over heels in love. Your eyelids flutter and your heart is completely twitter patted. The source of your affections is perfection personified. Or so you think. There's poetry, roses, chocolates, candlelight and love letters. Well, texts and emails anyway. You can't get anything else done because all of your thoughts are stuck on this knight in shining armour. An emotional intervention is probably underway. The question is, are you the one being healed or are you doing the healing? This knight is romantic and idealistic about love. Dramatic, poetic and utterly enchanting. Sounds amazing, right? Yeah, well, just hold on a second. This kind of emotional experience knocks you off balance, whether this is really romance or just something else in your life that has your heart a flutter. You need to plant your feet flat on the ground and anchor your emotions, get some balance. If this night represents someone else in your life, then you need to understand that there's a chance that all this is staying power, maybe. However, there's an even greater chance that it doesn't. Knights of Water tend to be in love with being in love. The moment the relationship starts to feel mundane, they're on to the next conquest, because their whole life is wrapped up in keeping that powerful feeling alive. Remember, this knight might be you. Make an honest assessment of yourself. If you're repeating this type of pattern in your romantic life, it's time to snap out of it. Words of awareness with this card are, there's more to life than romance. Your brain isn't your enemy, so think about what's going on here. If it feels like things are moving way too fast, then they probably are. It's okay to enjoy the experience, but don't lose yourself in it. Don't dismiss what your friends and family are saying. If you're the knight, pay attention to how you might be hurting the other person. Additional meanings of this card. A love of art and beauty. A trusted keeper of secrets. A consoler. Gushing emotional displays. Powerful spiritual experiences. Vivid, impactful nocturnal dreams. Playing on people's emotions. Exaggerating experiences. Are you an exaggerator? I'm not getting the feeling that you are. Okay, so from the Psychic Tarot, we've got... First card up is a major arcana. Fertility. Through this card, the manifestation of growth is on the horizon. You're the creator, and the seeds that have been planted in the past, whether they were happiness, comfort, abundance, prosperity, family, children, ideas, or even thoughts are now ready to give birth into your world. Be patient as you watch your seeds take root and grow. Nurture them as they become strong and healthy. Open yourself to the life force of the universe. This card also represents femininity and Mother Earth, who is calling to you. The arms of her beauty are reaching out. She wants to embrace you on her seahorses, mountains, forests and gardens. Go to her and meet her halfway. Acknowledge that the same energy that makes up the heavens, earth, plants, animals and mineral kingdom is also part of you. Start nurturing yourself and infuse your soul with love and compassion. 
Soon others will see and feel your devotion. As you interact with others around you now, or even you're in the midst of solving a problem, use gentle care and kindness as you handle such situations. This isn't a time for you to be inconsiderate, possessive, domineering, forceful or pushy. Act from the loving space of your heart centre. The benevolent energy that resides there will assist you in making sacrifices in order for you to help others as well as yourself. Traditional tarot archetype, of course, if you know tarot, you already know, because the empress represents fertility. So that's the traditional tarot archetype for that card. Movement, choices, decisions. This card indicates a time of movement, significant changes, and choices must be made with hard work. With hard work, great effort, and determination, you have the ability to juggle all the demands that are in front of you. Whether they concern money, business decisions, or other projects, it's important to stay flexible and focused. You don't have to do it all alone. Reach out for the best advice and assistance. In addition, a financial union or partnership may present itself to you. The more time you take to make these vital decisions and choices, the longer it will be before you can move forward towards your goals in the physical, material world. The changes that are emerging aren't some random acts of coincidences. They're all part of a positive and larger scheme. Notice the connections with everything as this will enable you to avoid future problems and conflicts. Mm. Avoiding future problems and conflicts is always a good idea. Four, foundations and achievements. <coughs> from a different deck. From a different suit. In this deck. Nice, nice card though. This card confirms that what you've been building is now firmly established with a strong and solid foundation. You deserve this, Capricorn. And it's time for you to harvest the rewards for your efforts. What you sowed, you can now reap. Be open to receive as you've worked hard and have gave, given so much. Allow the universe to give a little back to you. For there has to be an even exchange of giving and receiving in order to prime the pump of gratitude and reinforce the law of attraction. Using the more traditional meaning in, in tarot, this card represents a period for celebration, peach, peace and prosperity. Ah, oh, so it's maybe got that Four of Wands vibe. I mean, it's got the rainbow from the Ten of Cups, yeah, sure. Using the more traditional meaning in the tarot, this card represents a period of celebration, peace and prosperity. It may also imply a marriage, Four of Wands, or the buying of land or a new home, as you enjoy this time of relaxation that you so deserve. Know that nothing remains stagnant and the winds of change are always at your door. Nice. So definitely something being built that's really quite magnificent and something that you want. Healing, healing, getting on track. So make sure you have healed from any sort of past disappointments, um, bad treatment, any uh, bad luck or something like that. Bad relationships. Make sure you've healed from that before you get on track. Before you get on track. But look, wishes and wishes fulfilled and the foundational achievements card amazing and it is something that you are birthing not necessarily physical i'm getting the feeling that it's like an idea okay capricorn thanks for being here take care bye Forever, though. Oh,